Hey there, you're watching Jamie Travis. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Jimmy Tries. Today we are going to try Scribble Notes Unlimited. This is a game that I've been following for a little while, and it looks incredible. I mean, look at this. Look how happy everyone is. Everyone's smiling. Jimmy's smiling. Look at little Jimmy. There he is. I created him myself, as you can tell. He's got big eyebrows and a beard, just like me. Um, and I thought we'd just have a quick look at this game, see, see, you know, see, get some general impressions about it. I've played it for a couple of hours so far, and I absolutely love it, as a spoiler for you. And I thought I'd just show you some gameplay, and perhaps then you can pick up a copy yourselves if you like what you see. This game currently isn't available in the UK or Europe, but it's got plans to be released soon. Um, it's released in Australia next week, I believe, and it's released in the US already, of course. Uh, you can get it off Steam in the US, um, and I believe in Australia as well, soon. Um, so, I, yeah, just show you around. Basically, I've got a backpack on. I mean, I'm at the fire station right now, and this is essentially a point-and-click adventure. It's what it is, with... With words. So you can see I've got a jetpack on at the moment flying around, but there are self contained levels like this basically. And what you've got to do is you've got to go through the levels using your star vision, like so, and see if anyone's got any problems, solve them, make everyone happy. That's the whole aim of the game. And the way you solve problems is by using your magic notebook, like so. So let's say I wanted to get an object into the game for someone who's got a cold. I'd say, tissue. I'd get the tissue and I'd give it to someone and they'd be like, hey, we've cured my cold. So let's just do a, we'll do a, we'll do a, let's not do this one actually, let's do something a little more, ah. I'll just give you an example mission. So let's fly up here. Okay, so there's a zombie here. So this is a, a zombie mission. Help the survivors defend against the zombie invasion. So this will hopefully give you an example of the sort of levels there are. I mean, there's huge variety. It's not just a fire station, there's a park, there's a, there's a hospital, there's a museum, there's all sorts of stuff going on. So the mission started. We've got to help the doctor to treat someone's wounds first. I've got my survival jacket on. I am ready to help you. So what's the problem, Doc? Help me fix his wounds. Okay. So I can do one of two things here. I can either create an object for her, or I can add an adjective. If I add an adjective, like large, for example, it'll make the doctor large. <laughs> Basically, you can just add any adjective. So you could put funny, smelly, I don't know, and make anyone like anything. So she's really, really smelly, and I'm amused at the moment because she's very funny. And he'll probably be amused too. He's sick and amused. So, the, he's sick. What can we do? We need to create an object to help him to get better. So, let's say, let's have some pills. Will pills help? Oh, pill, how about a pill? Didn't have the word pills. There you are. Is that gonna help? You're smiling, you're using your pills. He's better, yes. And we're all happy, because the fireman is better. Okay, next stage of this mission. This is the gamer's dream. Give us something to help fend off the horde. Okay, so we can have a quick little look over here. What's that? It's an arcade machine. Wow, can we play the arcade machine? Whoa, we can play the arcade machine. I've turned arcadey. Wow, can I? Yes. Okay, so I'm unarcadey again and back in HD. Give me something to help fight off the zombies. So, what could this be? This could be anything in the whole world. Axe, gun, hose, grenade, shovel. I'm going to go with the tank. I am going to go with the tank. If she can fit inside a tank. Oh, not me. I don't want to be in that tank. Dismount. Yeah, is that enough for you? Is that okay? She's smiling. No, that's not enough. That's not the sort of thing she wants. I want something from a pers first person shooter. Ah, okay, how about a bazooka? Yeah? You like? Ah, she likes. She likes the bazooka to fight off the zombies. Oh, we've got another problem. The orphan is pretty shaken up. Give us something to calm her down. 
Orphan. Family. Family. How about a family? Can you get a family? You can get it. Oh, how adorable. She has got a family. She's happy now. Okay, we're on to the next stage of the mission. Soldier is convinced that a few simple objects can be combined into making a fighting machine. Place three objects inside the box to make a mech. I can do that. No, that's, that's her family. The orphan's not crying anymore. She's just an orphan now with a dog. <laughs> Whee. Hello, sir. Okay, so what do you need? You need a huge strong box. Mobility, offense, and defense. Okay, so how about a force field? Oops. Force field. Spell too well. Is that good? Yes. You've added some mobility. Huh. Uh, axe? What about an axe? Is that, a, is that an attacking weapon we can have on this? Yes, sir. And a wheel. Oh, no, we've already got mobility, haven't we? Oh, no. Yeah, the vehicle's already mobile. What the hell? So what do you need now? What do you want, sir? And you can see, like, as the... Can you see these here? They're basically the countdown to another clue, which we might actually have to wait for. Uh, uh, go, go. I was going to put them in a grenade, maybe, or something? We've already got attacking, haven't we? Uh, should I just put shield? Shield? Weapons already added. That's not a weapon. The game's not playing by my rules at the moment. Empty the box. Okay. He's got another clue. Something metal or something sticky? Okay. I can do that. Glue. Fill. Yes, I've done it. Okay. <laughs> so we've, he's going to combine that into something amazing. I think it said a mech. Wow, it did say a mech. The fire station needs to be evacuated. Distract the zombies while you help the other survivors escape. Hop into the mech when you're ready. I am ready as I'll ever be. I am going to make this mech huge, though, first. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. The zombies are coming. So what you do to attack, you just basically just click and attack. You can do this with any weapon. Boom. The zombies are dead. And all the zombies are coming. We'll fight them off. It's fine, I think. We've got this under control. And if we need extra help, then we can always... Uh, bomb. Get a bomb. Drop that from the sky. Give us a bit of a hand. So we should be okay, you know? Force. Why don't I get a force field in? See what happens there. Oh, gosh, I can't spell force field. Get my spelling good. Well, I don't want to do that, do I? Because a zombie will be like invincible. Whoa! I'm shooting myself. That's oh, pushing the zombies back there. Look. Stop firing, please. <laughs> and then I, I can get a gigantic bomb. Drop it on the zombies. Oh no, I, haven't, I can't light it. So people are getting evacuated, the look of it. I think I might have buggered up the game. Oh no! Sorry. So what I can do now is pick it up, put it back, and instead I can just start firing at them again. Oh, I've got something. Got a tick. Hey, it's completed it. So, what I need to know now is dismount. And pick up the star. Yes, and that's the end of the mission. So basically, the aim of the game is to do this. To complete missions and get stars. If you get a big star, like that. If you, sorry, if you do a big mission like that, you'll get a complete star. You can see I've got 14 already. If you do small missions, you'll get a piece of starite, a tiny little piece, and you need about seven of those, I think, to complete a whole star. So let's let's jet back out of here. See what's going on. This is the first sort of game hub world, capital city. So you can see there's a place to go here. I'm not sure where this goes actually. Ah, oh, this goes up to the top. People sightseeing at the top of here. 
And earlier, these people wanted me to create a sun for them to uh, to basically to get rid of the clouds. So I did that. So like so, you can see it happening again now. It's getting all pretty. Um, and there's a museum. There's a hospital. There's all sorts of stuff going on. There's a massive crown that might be left over from something I was doing earlier. Oh, there's Corvo there. Corvo from uh, well, it's called Whalebone for some reason, but it is Corvo from uh, from Dishonored. He is a character that I brought in myself. Um, so let's make let's make Corvo a bit more like real Corvo, aggressive Corvo. Corvo. Look, he's going to beat up that cockroach. He's not happy at all. Um, <laughs> Corvo's an idiot. Okay, Corvo, stop, stop, stop. So yeah, he's a, he's a character that I imported manually because it's got this character creation system using the Steam Workshop. So if I just show you that now, you can create your own objects if you want. Like so. So you can create an object. So say we want to create a, a different sort of plane. We'd start off with a base plane. Like this. And then... From here we can resize bits of it, we can recolor bits of it, we can add bits on, so I can add my add my head on the front there and add I dunno. Add some different sort of wheels there if I just take those other ones off and stuff like that. I don't really know how it works to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's how people create their own objects. I mean, I'm sure if you just messed about with it for a bit then you'd be able to work it out, no thank you. But I'm more interested in what people, other people are giving me. So, for example, there's a Jedi Knight. There's a 10th Doctor from Doctor Who. There's a portal gun that fires portals. I don't know how they've done that. There's a Kitty Launcher. There's a Big Daddy from Bioshock. Tower of Hats. Ocarina. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. There's, <laughs> there's heroin, which I thought would be... Uh, this doesn't actually do anything. Though there is. If you, what, if I show you this, I'll show you this. I'll show you this with two of the new characters. I'm just going to get Sonic in. Sonic looks a little bit weird. Um, and marijuana. I put this marijuana on the floor. Sonic just goes straight for the marijuana. Look at this. He, he's so hungry. He's so hungry. And then well, he's out. Out like a light. <laughs> I've no idea. No idea why Sonic's like so, so ditched to that. Needless to say, the marijuana is, is something that I imported in that was a user user made thing. Because um, obviously they don't have that sort of thing in this game, but I hope this sort of gives you some sort of idea, like anything and pretty much anything you can have in the game. So if I, if I wanted a plug, it's going to give me a little plug. If I wanted, uh, I don't even know what now. Uh, my book's rubbish. Like curtains, or curtain rather. It's got that. If I type Jimmy, which is my name in, it gives me some sort of strange little, must be an American thing, I have no idea what that is. Rabbit. If I type in Einstein, I might have Einstein, might not. It does, it has Einstein, there he is. It's just, in, it's just <laughs> the amount of stuff in this game is incredible. If I want God, I've got God. If I want God, here's God. So if I get, add objective, giant, red, God. There's God, he's giant and he's red. He doesn't give me a crap. Here's Chuck Norris, another one I had to import in myself. But let's say I make... Oh, you don't want to pick Chuck Norris up, do you? Let's say I uh, make Chuck Norris giant, blue, aggressive. Fly up in the air. Whoa, 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 get out of the way. And I make God giant, red, and aggressive. Fight! <laughs> Whoa, and Einstein's just going for it, and it's all just going wrong, and I think it might have actually crashed my game. We've got a lesson that we've learned from this, chaps. Never make God and Chuck Norris fight. I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm back now, chaps. It has eliminated... Uh, God and Chuck Norris have just disappeared from the game, but that's, that's okay. Um, they're obviously too, too amazing. Talking about amazing and awesome, here is Barney Stinson. Hello, Barney. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. And also, say things like a whale. Say I wanted a whale in the game. I can ride that whale. Look. Oh, wow. I don't even know what this is. There's just like a parade going through town. But look, I can ride a whale. How fantastic is that? I can... I, I can... Go like that. <laughs> but there's just so much, so much stuff. 
that you can do in this game is unbelievable. Like anything you can think of, pretty much, can be put into the game. Things can be combined. They can, they interact with one another. I have no idea how it works, but it's absolutely genius. And it's the most fun I've had in ages. So what I'll do is, I'll show you. I'll show you another, a new place. In fact, we'll go to a new place together. So here's the map. Sorry, I should show this first. Here is the map. The places I've unlocked are these places. So there's lots of levels. I've done about this many levels. It's taken me about two hours to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven levels. And look how many more levels there are to come. I mean, what's that, like 20, 30, 40 new, more levels to come? It's unbelievable. So much content in this game. It takes a while to get these stars if you want to do it properly, like a bit of completionist like myself. So, okay, so we'll go to the full stop diner. We'll do a couple of new missions from there. And then hopefully you guys will be intrigued enough to go and uh, investigate further. So, wow, here we are in the full stop diner. Wow, multiple floor diner. That's the, that's the blue star there is a real mission. The rest of these guys, oh, there's a minotaur and a monster in a basement. As you do. Here I am. Here's Jimmy. Here's, here's Jackie. I watched The Shining last night. It was really scary. Okay, so, I can do a full, full mission like this, so I might as well, I'll do the full mission first. Dinner guests, feed the hungry guests. Dinner service, rather. Feed the hungry guests. Okay, I've got my moustache and my, my waiter's clothes. Go on, French. This restaurant has very different customers. Feed the schoolboys something that will help him grow. What shall I feed you? I'll feed you spinach. You want the spinach? It took a while to decide. Do you like? Ah. <laughs> You're a muscle man. You took your clothes off. I shall look away. Healthy food inspired me to grow up strong. I, I, I feel disgusted. Disgusted with you, boy. Okay. Oh, wow. A vampire wants something new to eat. Give him, give him something new. Give him something to quench his thirst. I will not give him any blood. Uh, what shall I give him? Tomato soup? This might... Uh, this might uh, fool him into thinking it is blood. I don't know if he's going to. Let's have a look. Oh, he ate the ball. <laughs> hey, he likes it. He likes it. Yay. That was delicious. Of course, they don't interact with everything, right? So that it seems like there's a lot of right answers. But there's also a lot of wrong answers. If I fed him, for example, if he just something a robot might eat. So if I get, for example, if I give this robot a baby, and I hope to God he's not actually going to eat it. Please don't eat it. Okay, so for example like they just won't react to it if you don't, so you can get it wrong, which is, uh, but part of the fun of course is experimenting and trying it out. Goodbye baby. Singing. Gigantic baby. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, what would a robot eat? Uh, nails, maybe. Or nail, it's going to be a nail, isn't it? Do you, you eat that? Nope, this is a tricky one. What a robot eat? I'm on to eat something electronic, okay. Uh, CPU. Oh, he likes that. Yes, he likes the CPU. He is nomming on the CPU. Oh, he's turned into a cyborg. Oh, and here's a singing baby. Upgrade to an android. Yes! Superior. Hello. Hello. <laughs> singing away. Whoa. Cannibal has shown up for something special. Write something for the cannibal to dine on. Oh my goodness me. Oh no! <laughs> wow! I thought you might, maybe. I was going to give it to him. Was... Oh my goodness. I... I... <laughs> wow. Fantastic. I'm so happy to have served you, Mr. Cannibal. You made my life. You made my life. Dinner service is complete. Scribble notes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's just do a couple of the smaller missions. Uh, what about this, for example? I'm so bored. Give me something to entertain myself. Oh, I'll give you a Game Boy. Can I get other Game Boys in this? It doesn't have branded stuff, so it's kind of tricky if you want to find stuff like that. Um, game. Let's have game. Type in game. Oh, Game Boy. There's a Game Boy. Is that okay? How's that for you? Bored boyfriend. Oh my goodness, I made a cry. I'm so sorry. I wish you would give me something better to make me feel better. 
Give me something. Um, heart. How about heart? Heart. Organ. <laughs> heart organ. Wow. Okay, let's give you a heart organ, my dear. How's that? You feel better? Do you feel better with the heart organ? No? So I've got into Star Vision. She's the one that needs help, so this heart organ isn't helping. Flowers. I'll give you some flowers. That's a nice, sort of traditional. Oh, you love me? Oh, love Doctor. Yes! I've saved their relationship. Now they're nattering away. Fly. Ugh. Cockroach. Ugh. Oh, this is going to be a long... Oh, ow! <laughs> wow. Well, I can even do this to myself, by the way. I can also change myself, so I can make myself wet. Uh, small. Fat. I don't know. All these little things. There I am. F small, fat, wet Jimmy. Gross, eh? So let's just do one more. Let's check out these. Actually, I don't want, I'm going to check out the Minotaur downstairs. Ow! Here I come. And of course, there's lots of other characters you can play as. You don't have to play as... You don't have to play as Jimmy at all. Look, you can play as... All the characters I've unlocked so far. So let's go back to the traditional... Traditional Jimmy. And... Let's see what's going on here. So just the Minotaur needs help. We're looking for a suitable individual to join our club. Wow, who can join the Minotaur and Monster Club? How about... Uh, a ghost. How about a ghost? Is it good? Yes! Yeah, Scare Society. The ghost is part... No, it's got a star. Alright, as you can see. We're doing that small mission again. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the rather marvellous Scribble Notes. So much to do, so much fun to be had, just just messing about basically. I mean, just all these things that just come into the game are just incredible. And these are things that people created as well, like that. I think that's absolutely amazing. So, I've been Jimmy Augustus Ward. You have been watching Jimmy Tries. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. And check out my other videos if you like this one. And I might do some more uh, Scribble Notes to be honest, because it is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like and subscribe if you did. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye-bye.